Hello students, welcome to HSC Chemistry and Module 7, which is the Organic Chemistry Module. This is the second in the series on nomenclature, and in this one we're going to look at naming the alcohols. In this particular video, we're going to be concentrating on how we name different types of alcohol groups, where we have uh, both the methyl and ethyl branch chains, and focusing on the three groups of alcohols, primary, secondary, and tertiary. So obviously we're going to have to have a look at each of these three types to be able to contrast between them. Just as we've done before, we want to make sure that we have a look at our model kits as well so we can contextualize exactly where all of these groups are. So the first thing that we need to look at are the alkanols as a group. And therefore, uh, in order to define them, we obviously define our uh, different homologous series on the basis of their functional group. And the functional group is a hydroxy or a hydroxyl group and the hydroxyl group is the OH group. Now this is not a hydroxide. Okay, we've we've encountered OH in compounds such as sodium hydroxide in the past. The OH here is not an ion and so please don't describe it as a hydroxide. That is incorrect. It's a hydroxy or hydroxyl group and it's attached to one or more of the carbons in a chain. Unless there is no ambiguity, we also need to identify the position of the OH functional group in the chain. So let's have a look at a couple of examples just to get us started. The first group are the primary alcohols. And the primary alcohols are the ones where the OH group is attached to an end carbon. One of the ways we want to try and remember this is from the uh, end carbon, there can only be one other carbon. In fact, in some cases, uh, if we look at methanol, there is no other carbon attached to that carbon, but only one other carbon uh, can be attached uh, or just hydrogens for our primary alcohols. Now, the other thing that's important is that when we look at the orientation, so Here's an example of uh, a primary alcohol. So I hope that each time that we start seeing these when you're looking at oh, either models or uh, structural formulae, that you're already starting to work through the naming of these in your head. So at least the first part, our prefix, we can look at on the basis of the fact that there are one, two, three carbons. So the three carbons that we have here, uh, three is our prop. So our prefix for three carbons is prop. Now the suffix, that's the part that tells us about the functional group. So the suffix in this case is the OH group. Okay, and the OH group is the anol section. Now the only other thing that we need to do is we need to look at uh, a question mark around ambiguity. So the question mark around ambiguity is, is, is there any other place that the OH group could be uh, that would mean that if I said to you, I want you to um, draw or construct a model of propanol, is there more than one solution to that? And in this case, there is. If I rotate this molecule, I can have the OH group on an end carbon, so it doesn't matter whether you regard it as the first carbon or the third carbon, we are always going to have that on the smallest number, which is number one. But it is also possible for it to sit in that middle structure there. So therefore, if I'm going to name the compound that I have drawn here, then I will need a number. Yes, so uh, we add a number. And so therefore, in order to name this compound, I'm going to call it propan-1-ol. This is the preferred IUPAC name. And you will sometimes see this little um, acronym PIN. I know you probably also use it for your personal identification numbers when you go to the bank. Um, but it is also the preferred um, IUPAC name. Uh, so propan 1 ol um, I have seen it referred to uh, in some past HSC papers as well as 1-propanol. 
But for reasons that will become more and more obvious as we increase the number of functional groups that we know, um, putting the number near the functional group at least as close as you can, we often call this a locant because it basically locates the position of our functional group. So um, the number is just there to tell us where it is. Because this is on an end carbon, it is a primary alcohol. But we have two other groups to look at. How do I get from a primary alcohol to a secondary alcohol? Well, all I need to do is to switch the functional group onto the second carbon. Now when I do this, what I have is a lost bond. What I have um, is now uh, still an alcohol. I still have three carbons, so this hasn't changed, one, two, three carbons. But now my OH group is on a carbon that's actually attached to two other carbons. It doesn't matter how many else are in the chain beyond them, but this carbon which is attached to the OH group is also attached to two other carbons. So when my OH group is on a carbon which is attached to two other carbons. It's a secondary alcohol. Uh, secondary alcohol. So in this case, and therefore when we're naming it, we said in the in the previous slide that what we had to do was to look at a numbering system because we knew this was a possibility, so now we have it. And of course this time, whichever direction we count from, it's going to be 1, 2, 1, 2. It's going to be number 2. So again, what we want to do is call this propan 2-ol. Now if we were to draw it, we would be drawing our three carbons first of all, then we would be drawing our functional group. Now I will say one quick thing about this as well. One of the things that HSC markers do not like is when you put your bond like this. Okay, this sort of an arrangement uh, means it's not really clear wh where that bond is going. Is it bonding to the oxygen? Is it bonding to the hydrogen? Is it bonding to somewhere in the middle? It's not clear. If you write it like that, even if you're in a hurry, which we know you are during exams, you will be likely to be marked wrong. So you must make sure that you show exactly where the bond is. In fact, if you want to be really precise, then you probably would show it like this. And that way we would show that the bond is going to the oxygen and from the oxygen to the hydrogen. Now we don't want to um, set you off in paranoia around the drawing of these organic molecules, but we do want to make sure that you are very clear where you're showing your bonding because we need to make sure that we can see exactly what you've got bonding to each different type of atom. So this is a secondary alcohol because the carbon to which the OH group is attached is also attached to two other carbons. And obviously, if we've got one more group to go, they are the tertiary alcohol. So a tertiary alcohol is simply a group that has uh, a methyl group attached. So hopefully, as you've worked through this series with me, you've realized that we've gone from an OH group on an end carbon to an OH group on a middle carbon now the OH group is on a carbon that's actually attached to one, two, three other carbons. So this is what we call a tertiary alcohol. So the OH group on a carbon attached to, oops, to three other carbons is a tertiary alcohol. So uh, if we were to draw this one again, we've got one, two, three in the main chain. So it's still going to be propan. Um, the OH group is on the second carbon. That's still there. So everything else from what we had before is exactly the same. So it's propan to all. But now we've actually got this little side chain. The little side chain is off the main chain. Now you can 
Um, orient this any way you like and make it one, two, three down here, or one, two, three down here, or one, two, three across the top here. Either way, there's one of the carbons that you're not going to count as part of the main chain. It's off the main chain. It's a side chain or a side branch. And we need to describe this as well. And it's in the position that's off the number two carbon here, but it itself is only one carbon um, in uh, construction. So, so if I remove the three carbons I've already taken account of, there's only one more carbon I need to look at. And because there's one more carbon, one carbon is meth, and we call this a methyl, which is basically telling us that we have um, a little um, side chain off our main chain. So when we count the longest chain of carbons, we've got something that's not part of that longest chain. Now you can see the way that I've written it's a little bit messy. What we want you to try and do is put this whole name together so that the whole thing is a, symbol, a single name. So this tertiary alcohol would be called methyl propan 2-ol. And what we have is a carbon attached to the OH groups, which is also attached to three other carbons. These will take a little practice. There's lots and lots of variations and lots of opportunities for you to test your knowledge of alcohols. And of course, they're one of the key groups in organic chemistry, so we'll be spending a little bit more time looking at them later on in this module. Thanks for watching.